Diane from Diane'sCards.com and today I'm going to show you how we can take one of our striped treat bags and you'll find those on page 95 I believe in the current annual catalog. Yep, page 195, striped treat bags and you get 10 of these bags in a package for $5.50. Is that a good deal or what? In U.S., that is. So we're going to take one of these bags and turn it into a bag like this with gussets on the side. And you'll see, I'll show you a couple of treat bags that I've made. I have a couple more to show you. It's pretty easy. The most important thing that you need to have, other than obviously the treat bag, is to have a stamp and trimmer. And the reason that I like to use our stamp and trimmer uh, is that it has nice grid lines that are never never going to go away. I had another trimmer a long time ago and after you clean it off a few times the lines start to disappear. That's never going to happen with this. We've got a nice extension here and it even stays up straight with this little clip on the bottom and it goes out to 12 inches and it also, which is important for today, has a scoring blade. So we're going to start with the trimming blade, the cutting blade and what I'm going to do is cut off just the tiniest bit off the bottom. Just the smaller I can cut the better. So you see that was actually bigger than what I usually do but that's fine. So I'm going to start with that and now I'm going to put the cutting blade down here so I'm not tempted to use it. And I'm going to move this down. If I go out here there's one inch, the next one is one and a quarter. So I want to go to one and one fourth and I'm going to score on that line. I'm going to turn and score one inch on each side. So here's the one inch line here. Line that up so it's nice and even. And again, use the scoring blade. I have it labeled, it's the lighter gray one. And run that a couple of times. Then I'm just gonna slide over till I get to one inch on this side. Easy, right? So, let's put that aside. Don't need that anymore. What you're going to do next is to now fold, oopsie, oh, the other thing I like to do, it's not required, but I like to take this paper off. It makes it a little bit easier to do the folding. So now I'm going to make the gusset. This fold that was the edge now comes in, and these two score lines are folded. So now we have that side gusseted, and open this side, push that the other way, my score lines here. There we go. Gusseted bag. <laughs> Almost. Next, you're going to trim each of these on the bottom. Not trim, I'm sorry. Cut up to the score line. And this is the front, this piece. I'm going to fold each of those down. But the front piece, I would like to just trim the slightest bit here so that when I fold it over later, it just comes out more nice, more neatly. I don't have anything hanging over. So this edge is folded. Pull that back out. This edge is folded. And when I uh, go to put on some adhesive in a few seconds, I'm going to use Fast Fuse perfectly fine. You can use that. You can use um, tear and tape also, which is another <clears throat> glue that I like for this. So on the sides where the gusset is, I'm going to put some fast fuse on this, this half of it it's because I just want it to adhere to the back part. If I put adhesive on there, I'll have a sticky inside. So now I'm going to, oopsie, my fingers are getting in the way there. Just pull this over, like so. Fast Fuse, mm, one of my favorite adhesives. I keep thinking I'm going to do an, a video just on adhesives. Now, I didn't quite get that right because I was trying to hurry, but you get the idea. So I'm going to trim a little off here so it doesn't bubble too much. And now I'm going to put some Fast Fuse here on this piece and adhere. And the way that I like to make sure that's all 
stuck down there as I take one of these blocks, this happens to be an H block, and push it down. So there you have it. There is our bag. You can decorate it however you like. <clears throat> this one I used the Bloomin' Heart Thinlet and some powder pink paper and powder pink ribbon. On this one I used some of the Eastern Gold Foil uh, stickers and some ribbon. And this one I went with the traditional red and the, East, and the gold foil for the heart and a little bit of uh, gold mini sequins. So there you have it. Easy, easy. If you want to make a little bit different shape, all I needed to do here was a half inch on each side and an inch at the bottom. So just change it up, play with it, see what size bag you like. But aren't they cute? They're just the best. So I hope you'll tune in again to see another video next time or check my uh, web page for all the videos that I have done before. Diane's Cards, please stop by to look at my blog every day. Thank you.